Today I'm going to talk about how I manage my web server for my web development. If you are a web developer, I believe you already know the MAM or ZAM application that come with web server, database and PHP. But for today, I will using Nginx instead because uh, I love Nginx and I want to understand what is behind the application that come with web server, database, PHP, blah 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 yes so I want to understand what behind it and I will try or I will try to challenge myself how to install it by H1 like uh, I will install a single nginx I will install a single Maxwell server and a single PHP so is it work? yeah I will try and I will show you to search for this page. It is uh, Nginx for Windows. Yes, we go into the page and we can download. I already download and I already register the Nginx parts inside my part so I can uh, access Nginx. Nginx. Yes, it is working. This one is working. So, how to start the Nginx service? From download page, we can see how we can start the Nginx service by type start and the name of Nginx. So we can do so, or we just double click on this icon, or we we, we just double click on this application. Yeah, double click. Now my Nginx service is running. It is running in background. We we don't see anything after we click yeah but we can test it by and we go to browser and try local host yes this is working if we stop the nginx service we'll not be able to see this page so let me test go to how to stop the service this is my way. You can use another way to stop the service, like uh, uh, you can try to say any, anything. But for me, this is how I stop the Nginx service. Yeah, we can Nginx service is running on our task manager and just end it, end the task. Now all the tasks of Nginx is down. If I refresh, it will no longer working. Yes and i start it again it back to normal for now web server with nginx is working perfectly but i am not be able to use with my php yet in the last video i already show you how to install php on window and i already have it my version is 8.1.10 this is my php version how nginx can use my php to do anything you need to create a bug file that contain you need to create a bug file that contain something like this i will explain you this is using PHP CGI as a PHP server for port. You can define your port that you love. Like uh, for me, I, I use it for 81 because my PHP version is 8.1. Yes. And for this line, this is your PHP CGI location. So you need to find your PHP CGI location and paste it here and then this is the same what the first line do yeah this is the same what the first line so how to find your PHP CGI location um, you can use this way uh, where PHP CGI this is the location you can use or you can go direct to your PHP folder and you will see it too for me my PHP is inside this folder I will go and show you this is my PHP folder 
and scroll down we will see a PHP application and also application about the PHP CGI so how to use it after you have this file you can save it as a extension uh, sorry I will back to engine uh, the extension of this file must be byte file it is a byte file like you see um, why this file this file is not important if you if you don't have this file when you start the service you need to double click and you will see a pop-up of the black command line like this but normally I believe you don't want to show it and the way to hide it and the way to start it silently in the background you will need this file what is inside this file what is inside this file is I will show it is just a script that is shoot the batch file and hide the command prompt let me start the service uh, internet is already start and PHP CGI I need to start it now yes it's working believe me it's working but it is silently it is running in the background so to test it is it work with the PHP I will create a PHP file to test I will just uh, um, yes I will put it in the server for I will create a test PHP and inside the test PHP I create a new file a one and I will print uh, something uh, hello world okay and save it as PHP Uh, it can be in Dutch. Okay. So this one I don't need more. First we need to go to window and system thirty two. Yeah, system thirty two and driver etc and host. We need to register a uh, domain name or server name inside this host when I open it with VS code and try to save it again and retry as at its writer done it is saved I can close it so we'll be able to access to that host let me try It is redirect to the default of Nginx page because we not yet tell Nginx to link the server name to the project or PHP file. How to do that? So let me show you. To do that, we go to Nginx folder again. Go inside conf. We will see an Nginx as a config file. So we will need to update this file to link or to tell the engine uh, this server name should link to the project that you want or PHP that you want yeah. I will did it with notepad again and find the same Paul one that I already used for my uh, another server another project uh, this is for my PHP my admin. You see this because uh, I beg to rename my folder because this name is not working. I don't know why, and I just rename it to any. And uh, you can see this is my configuration inside my Nginx config, and we provide detail of configuration in video description. So I will brief for you for the configuration. First line that you can see is uh, listen port 80 and server name and the root. The root is the folder that contains your PHP file. And for port that you can see 98 and 10. This is what we have configured when we do with PHP CGI. Like you see 
in the last minute of this video so i hope you can use this example for your project um, now i try to restart the nginx server and refresh it again yeah it is working it is read my php file that print hello world I can use PHP with Nginx right now. For how to install my actual server, I will not show you in this video, but it is very simple that you can do by your own by uh, just go to download the file for window and you can install it by this installer file and click next and follow the instruction and you will have your actual server inside your computer and then you can link it to your project too. Um, I can I can show you what I have configured with my PHP my admin and I already do the same thing with uh, uh, create a virtual host uh, like uh, my PHP my admin I create my own virtual host and I already link it like I do with uh, this hello world print so you can do it so that contain the index file and inside my nginx configuration I use this this is like you see a server and a server name and this is the root location I get it from this folder yes and click on here and copy and then put it here and this is the same way I have already explained with uh, how to do it with my uh, test PHP. I hope this is useful for you to do your own configuration with Nginx, how to install it, how to use PHP CGI, and use VirtualHost to link it with your project. Okay, see you in the next video.